Hey guys, Nightshade here, and I want to talk about a book series I love, but I have never been able to finish the whole series or the last book. And let me explain that a little bit more into it. Why I say that? I own this book as an audiobook, but also I do have the physical copies. And the book series is The Moon in the Palace by Raina Di by Wa Raina Di Randall. I'm sorry if I butcher your name. I'm trying. The other book is called The Empress of the Bright Moon. Now these are about a concubine named Wu who inside of ancient China ended up becoming an emperor in her own right with her sons as actually being the emperor inside China. She was the only confirmed emperor. I'm someone who loves history so reading about historical figures that are put into a new fantasy land is fun. But I'm not someone who likes violence. My family was very violent when I was growing up. My parents went through a divorce and my dad was very abusive. So I don't like violence in reality. So for me, whenever there's something violent, I will try to either not read it or not touch it. That's the problem with these books. It's like, this one I've been able to finish, but I can tell you, there's a lot of violence in it and I had to listen to it on audio completely through without seeing anything. <laughs> Then I went back later and had the audio read the book to me so I could finish this one. That's the only way I got through this one. This one though, I've only gotten, let me see, right now it is on chapter 9 and uh, I don't think that's how many there are, let me see. Uh, so there's 38 chapters. I am... 29 chapters away from being able to finish it. And I can tell you, it's a lot more violent because this goes into the part of her life after she became the concubine to one emperor, Emperor Taizong, and later became the concubine to Emperor Gazong, his son, later on. But, at one point, <laughs> but at one point, it was actually, but at one point, she was actually a myth, she was actually a nun at a Buddhist ministry. Because at that time inside China, it, there was a law, the emperor law, which states, which I'm not sure if that's the exact name, so don't quote me on that, but the law does state that if an emperor dies, what has to happen is any woman that he has slept with or has children is allowed, well, mainly the woman who had children, <laughs> many are silly. It's mainly the women who had children who were given the right to stay at the palace with their kids. If you did not have kids or you were just one of the maidens that was chosen every year by the emperor to become his concubine, become his wife, you kind of were thrown away. You were seen as a disgrace. No other man should see you. You were seen as someone who has already lost their husband, has no right to a new one, and should not have any say. The same with the women of ancient, just like the mothers. Unfortunately, their children would probably still have a say with their brother. But when it came down to it, before that happened, Emperor Goslin actually had to fight three of his older brothers and ended up losing all three of them. That's the reason why the fourth son became the heir to the throne. Is that huge fight where one of the sons tried to turn against their own father, the emperor, and kill him. And unfortunately, that caused that problem. So there's not a chance that the siblings would even be listened to. They would all be living inside separate houses around the royal city, away from everyone, with their own families, their own concubines, everyone separate. But that's the problem, is that it's going into her time when she was at the ministry, and she had to have her hair shaved, and all these things that are really hard for someone who didn't grow up with the best past, kind of can relate to and feel upset about. Like, when I was little, I actually did get head lice and I had to shave my head and I had to go to school like that. That's one experience I can never outlive, but also I can't understand, but also I would never be okay with that if suddenly someone I'm dating dies and next thing I know, oh yeah, you gotta shave your head. And you're like, no. Why do I have to suffer after they've already passed? But this is ancient time, so you really can't fight them. In ancient time, Women were believed not to have an opinion. They were believed to be the side things. They were meant to be heard, but never seen. And they would only be heard by the emperor or someone close. But I love the book series. I really do. I have them as audio books. I have them as the paperbacks. I love this series, but I can't finish it.
If you guys have any tricks or anything down down inside the comments, go ahead and let me know on the ways I could finish this to make it to where I can actually finish the series and be able to understand it all. Because, I mean, the first book, I love this book. You can tell I've reread it so many times. I've dirtied the pages. It's one of my favorites. But I can't finish. But thanks, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.